Right. Which I thought when I watched this, um, there was some interesting universe building, let's call it, that for people who were not familiar with wrestling at the time, you got to kind of give the lay of the land at the time what's going on in wrestling. And there were three letters that were absent from the telling of the story of wrestling going from the cartoonish silliness of 91 and 92 to more serious, uh, dangerous, uh, and that's ECW. Now, any programs that WWE are highly involved with, you're not going to see that, but the precursor to the NWO, to the, the black and white, to the, they're showing barbed wire in the cutaways in this show. They're showing garbage pails. Those weren't in rings before ECW, maybe in Japan, um, in fairness. But, uh, but here, uh, the big federations took their cue on how to change the business and that the business needed to change by watching what this little company in Philadelphia was doing to garner attention. From the boys, you know, they were all watching it and talking about it, and then um, up to the office staff. I thought it was an egregious omission not to have the flaming tables, barbed wires, and garbage cans if you're going to show them in this documentary and where all that came from. It wasn't the aha moment from Eric where, hey, bad guys are cool now. They were tipped off to that in wrestling. In, in popular culture first, like the Tarantino movies and, you know, where bad guys kind of acted like good, cool guys. And then in wrestling with ECW. So I just have to get that off my chest. So that was my one See, criticism. Uh, I, and, and to me, like, like when did ECW start? 92. 92, it was in the bars. Then in uh, by 93... Uh, Paul Heyman was hired as Booker, and um, they acquired some cable television, first on Sports Channel America, which did have national reach, but it was on like all over the, the dial. Um, then they got a contract with uh, Sunshine Network, which was Florida, and MSG Network, which was New York. So they got some regular reach there. And uh, that's the contract that actually ended up killing them because it was so expensive. But, um, yeah, so 92 through 94, 5 were the formative years. And then. <clears throat> yeah, I, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to see hardly any of that because we were, you know, that's one thing is, fuck, we were on the road so much. <clears throat> right. You know, it was just. And if I would have came home and put fucking, because it was like on Sunshine Network or something yeah. like that. Or like two down, in the morning or something. Yeah, yeah, down here in Florida. Like if I would have thrown fucking wrestling on on my days off, fuck, I would have got a steak knife in the neck. 